Welcome. This is what is happening on the Sun today, the 25th of September 2011. The Sun's gone absolutely mad. But you see more M flares than I've seen in a day for a very long time. But before we get to that, our trivia question. Which German astronomer who died in 1777 on this day first postulated that the Sun was part of a cluster of stars moving together through the Milky Way? And which English astronomer confirmed that theory by observation? The answer will be given at the end. Just take a look at the GOES X-ray plot and you can see what I mean by the sun going crazy. I've given up trying to mark the C flares because a lot of the time the X-ray background level has been above the M level. As far as I can see we've had at least 11 M flares from a variety of regions. So what's going on to cause all this activity? Let's take a look at the active regions and find out. At the moment we have five numbered regions on the disk. We lost region 1298 overnight but gained two more regions, the two that I had marked yesterday as unnumbered regions. We also have one unnumbered region just coming over the northeast limb. Region 1295 is right on the limb and we can't really see what's going on. So we'll start with region 1301 near disk center. According to NOAA, region 1301 has been decaying slightly and I can agree with that. If you see the leader part of the region, the spots are much smaller and uh, more spread out. And the uh, trailer region to the south has also uh, got uh, fewer spots and they're much smaller. You can see one of the new regions in the bottom left hand corner of these frames. That is region 1304 and overnight it seems to have grown somewhat. However neither region produced any flares in this period. Now the region we've all been waiting for. Region 1302 near the northeast limb. This is still a monster region. However I don't necessarily agree with Noah that it has grown by a factor of two since yesterday. In fact it looks rather similar to yesterday. I think they're just getting to the point where they are agreeing with some earlier estimates that this region was much larger. This region has produced the lion's share of the activity in the last few days and has produced six M flares in the last 24 hours. You can see to its east that the as yet unnumbered region on the northeast limb. This is actually a pretty respectable sized sunspot. Last but not least is region 1303 down in the southwest. As it has approached the southwest limb, it has grown remarkably quickly. And I don't necessarily believe the area of just 30 millionths that Noah assigns to it. It looks much, much bigger than that now. Especially if you compare yesterday's image with today's. It's also produced at least one M flare. I actually think it's done more than that, but uh, that's all that's been tagged so far. It's a pity we're going to be losing this region because I think it's going to be quite a spectacular uh, uh, flare producer in a few days' time. So all in all, solar activity has been very high for the last few days. And I expect it to remain relatively high despite the fact we're losing 1295 and 1303 over the west limb. Now let's take a look at the continuous evolution of these regions using the sunspot and magnetic data from the HMI instrument on the Solar Dynamics Observatory. And here I would concentrate on the development of region 1303 down in the southwest. It certainly looks like an interesting region and I suspect we'll get some coronal mass ejections from it over the west limb in the coming days. Instead of the usual full disk um, transition region and coronal movies, I decided to make a movies of individual active regions, seeing as they're so active. So we'll start with region 1295 in the northwest. Watch for the inflow of material from uh, some sort of um, prominence eruption to the south into this region. It then follows a rather bright little flare, and right at the very end, a jet. Next we turn to region 1302, near the northeast limb. Here I'd like to keep an eye on the number of eruptions that occur from this region to the south and east uh, after each flare. These are probably signatures of coronal mass ejections being launched into the outer corona. Next we turn our attention to region 1303 in the southwest. According to all the reports, this region hasn't produced much in the way of activity. However, if you follow its development over the last 24 hours, it looks as though it's been producing a steady stream of flares. The intensity and frequency of which seem to be increasing as time goes by. I was unable to produce equivalent movies in the low temperature coronal area because Helio Viewer is so busy at the moment that it was taking hours to get one of these videos completed. Lastly, we turn to the high temperature coronal picture from the SXI instrument on GOES. And you can see how bright the region in the southwest is compared with the others. 
We also have new regions coming over the northeast and the southeast limb. In the Soho Chronograph movies, there are a lot of chronal mass ejections, but towards the middle of each sequence, note that there is a halo uh, chronal mass ejection. That's one that appears on all sides of the sun simultaneously. That means one is heading towards us. So uh, we should uh, keep an eye out in the next couple of days for a chronal mass ejection hitting the Earth's magnetosphere. The solar wind conditions are very mild at the moment with low temperatures, densities and velocities. However, that may well change if the uh, coronal hole that I mentioned the other day starts to influence us. The high energy electron flux remains relatively stable and we're still in a very extended proton event and those with sharp eyes might have noticed there's a little bit more of the, that snow pattern on some of the images that I've shown uh, to date and that's evidence of the protons uh, getting into the Earth's environment. The auroral zone remains very quiet and the KP index is only varying between 0 and 2, although that's a little bit higher than it was yesterday. The NOAA space weather condition table shows us that we are not having a geomagnetic storm at the moment. We do have an S1 radiation storm underway at the moment. That is uh, due to the proton event. An S1 level storm means that there are no biological or satellite operation issues although there may be some high frequency radio interference in, near the polar regions. The radio blackout rating over the last 24 hours has dropped to R2. This is a uh, limited high frequency radio communication uh, problems on the sunlit side of the Earth and the degradation of low frequency navigation signals for a few minutes. So in summary then, the X-ray background is at an amazing C3 level. Sunspot number has dropped to 88. The radio sun intensity has risen to 190, that's the highest I've seen for a while. Solar wind speed is at 360 kilometers per second with a density of much less than one proton per cubic centimeter and geospace conditions remain quiet. So my forecast will be pretty much the same as it was yesterday with a certainty of C flares, M flares remain likely, X flares are still possible, the sunspot number may well edge lower, coronal mass ejections are very likely, the solar wind speed will likely increase and we have a possibility of a geomagnetic storm in the next 24 to 48 hours. The composite coronal image shows that we have no major regions due back for at least three or four days. If you want to find out more about what's going on on the sun, follow some of the uh, links in the description box below. If you'd like to see some earlier editions of the sun today or some of my other videos, go to my channel, they're all listed there. If you want to keep abreast of what's going on in the sun, please subscribe. You're more than welcome to do so. The answer to the trivia question? The German astronomer that uh, postulated that the sun was part of a cluster of stars moving through the Milky Way together was Johann Heinrich Lambert. And the English astronomer that confirmed that uh, hypothesis by observation was Sir William Herschel. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.